put it let's so this is the uh, stable label part 2 okay this is the stable label part 2 in, in the label part 2 we will go further in advanced topics about html so until now we have understand about what what is the format of html file and what is the opening and closing text in html what is title what is head what is body so inside body how can we add h1 heading paragraph tag and how can we add image tags how can we add anchor tags so we can use the difference functionality and how can we add class name so that we can add css and span we can use so these things uh, we have already learned and i already have given one assignment so uh, with the proper discipline you need to do that assignment so that you can understand what is the things uh, 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 in HTMLs, so you can learn uh, more and more by doing it yourself only. Okay, that's why I'm uh, giving you assignment. I can show you the uh, solution of that assignment. I can solve that assignment in front of you, but uh, I need you you first do that assignment, then I will solve. Okay. So in this uh, level two, we will discuss about uh, tables. Then uh, I will give you one table cues table queues in the sense i will uh, give you one text file in this text file the 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 overall description of the table quiz is here and you can read that text file and you can make the desired output okay so you can understand how to make tables after that i will go towards forms how to make uh, forms in html so that, so that you can easily add forms in your uh, website then after that we have uh, assignment 2 okay so once we have finished this section we will be ready to dive into css so after that we have uh, able to complete the html whole once we have done this uh, level 2 so this is the all about html after that uh, we are we will go to towards css so like that we will understand the html like that we have understanding html so we also understand css then we also understand javascript we are not going into advanced we are not doing any uh, more advanced practice and more uh, line of code. We are not writing more line of code. We are understanding the things, what HTML is doing and what CSS is doing, what JavaScript is doing, what jQuery is doing. So after that, we can easily uh, take the uh, available course on the internet and utilize that code and de debug that code and fix that code in our website, which will come in the future. So, uh, uh, we we all will make uh, many different websites related to business websites. There, there are more, many websites that are coming in the future, uh, maybe after one uh, month. So, we will make uh, e-commerce website, we will make job board website, we will make uh, 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 business websites, many business websites. Okay. So uh, in this uh, HTML section, while HTML may seem pretty basic and uh, possibly uh, boring also at first, we needed to build a good foundation for our knowledge later on, okay? So uh, by doing projects, by doing things, you are able to understand the HTML more and more and you are able to build your foundation, okay? On the basis of that practice. But we are doing the starting from here okay let's get started so part one is the table one tables how to make tables okay so in the tables you can understand we have these uh, tag tables in HTML consist of several tags and uh, these are the format of uh, tags table first we need put table then thread th then tr or then td these these are uh, all uh, related to that tag okay uh, how can we use that tag i will show you okay don't worry about that so let's construct a table to understand all of this so let i am going towards uh, our uh, web page our html code in atom text editor so 
the tables in HTML are comprised of various tags uh, that working in uh, combined way, and these tags include the over arcing table tags signaling the presence of the tables in your html subsequent uh, we have the thread tag responsible uh, responsible for defining the initial row or the header row of the table so within the thread we find the tags encapsulating the specific element for the header or top row essentially denoting the columns names in the tables so beyond that we move on to the table rows using the tr tag tr means table rows and for each element in the table corresponding to each column we employ the td td tag so let me here i am providing you the outline with just the opening text okay so here uh, let me write one uh, paragraph okay so first of all i will uh, need to change this uh, into tables this uh, topic of our web page now it is what it is about tables okay you can understand you can you can see it is about tables so from body text uh, we need to do our work okay so inside body i will add table t a b l e okay so inside table i will add one thread t h r e d because we are starting thread from here so inside thread uh, i need to add the row and column so this is about thread so uh, i am adding the uh, table uh, heading inside each row so first row will consider the first thread that is a uh, number first thread will be number okay then the second thread we have what color and country second thread we have what about color and in the third thread we will add what country okay so let proceed to construct a table to grasp how these tags harmonize so let me add a one uh, this is the thread actually this is telling about the heading of each row and let me go further and i will close this thread and uh, after that i will make the each row so for row we are using tr okay so inside the tr in we have uh, the values of our columns the values of number color and country so this this will complete the first complete row so first column will contain td which will start with td so first column will contain the number that is 2250 we are using okay you can add any number from your choice okay then copy okay so these are the uh, because we have made three thread so that's why we are we can only add three uh, column in row so that's why i am adding three column so color is our red and uh, country country is usa why usa india okay country is india not usa so now uh, let me close this row by tr closing tag now now what i will do i will close my table because i have completed my table so i will close this table so you can see 
we start every tag and we also need to close that every tag so thread we start here we close here table we start here we close here tr we start here we close here on in, in this inside this we have little tags also about thread and columns so uh, this code i have completed let me uh, refresh this code let me save this code and uh, let me see what will see so you can see here we have table i hope everyone are able to see so we have number in number we have 250 in color we have red in country we have india so this is the table we are able to see but but you can see this table is looking like a uh, unorganized the, there is not any border and available here so for that we need to do one thing we need to add border proper border so inside that table inside the table we need to add border tag bo not a tag border name that is border and uh, this will tell about border so i am taking the number one of this border okay so let me save this and now this this is now well organized table which is under border what is the uh, width of border one or you can put any width i will i can put 10 so by putting 10 width you are able to like you are able to see the border of 10 okay so this is not looking like good so that's why i'm putting uh, two okay so now two is looking like good so this is the uh, actually code we are using inside html so we can make our table well organized so as we populate uh, the thread with the element such as number, color, and uh, country, and uh, when I saved the file, the table header uh, materializes on the web page, just like that. Uh, okay, this alignment signifies the titles of the uh, columns. This number, color, and country, title of the column. Okay. and the question arises how do we add rows and uh, table cells beyond the thread we uh, introduce the uh, table row so the question i already completed in front of you so inside thread these are the title of the column if every every column title of the every column or we can add many columns as you want so these things this tr and td these are the tag we are using to add a row and column so for every row we are using tr opening tag and tr closing tag for every column value we are using td opening td tag and opening td global or you can understand in each row we have the same number of uh, column equal to the same number of thread okay to enhance your clarity uh, uh, you may want your table to have a border uh, through extensive styling will be covered in the CSS section. But here I have shown you the one characteristics how to add border. But but table is not like this this simple. You, uh, and uh, I think you have seen on the many web pages there are many stylish tables available. So these things are uh, we can extend by with the help of CSS section. Okay. So for the quick, we have uh, uh, seen the our uh, this uh, how to add border, okay. Uh, so let's practice adding another row, inserting tr for the table row and uh, for td for the table. So we observe the outcome when only one table cell value is added, even the partial values. So the table accommodate the input. Remember, this table attempt to fill the completely, but having one co uh, corresponding value for your own, so would not result in a column. So I will show you the one other thing. So let me add one more uh, row. Okay, 
so when i want to add one more row and i will add uh, here number 500 okay color is green and intensely i am showing the uh, one column blank okay intensely i am showing the one column blank so let what will happen let me save this and uh, what is the the layout of table so you can see that this is the uh, empty uh, means we have not the value of this column so like that you can also uh, uh, you can also do the separate uh, blank empty column thing like that okay but uh, one more thing uh, i want to show you you need not to put india here just td opening and td closing tag you need to put then after that you save you are able to see more organized box okay so this this way you can uh, make the table and uh, understand how to make table in html so to wrap up that uh, table thing the process of creating table in html this is uh, let me share you a quick recap of the steps so everything reside within the table tags everything is inside the table tag okay with no opening and closing tag to add a border include border one okay you need to add border and uh, table tag with the thread section identifies by bold text representing the column names thread section will identify the bold name that is representing the column names while not section uh, while uh, identifiable by bold text representing the column names so that uh, that is not bold names that is not bold name that is identifiable by the columns itself okay so inside the thread the text denote the column elements followed by the tr tags for table rows and tags for cells so so td for uh, cells for columns and tr for rows so this is the organized way okay so this is the thing uh, actually uh, you can understand how to make table and uh, for that uh, table uh, i will uh, also give you one task that is one simple quiz and uh, how you can do this uh, quiz let me show you how you can do this quiz so let me go to the our html level 2 and our this table quiz so this is the actually quiz for you for practice so in this quiz uh, use the following information to make a table about country gdp you need to what you need to make a table about country gdp up uh, what information from where you can get the about country gdp the source is wikipedia so from wikipedia you are able to uh, get the uh, gdp uh, information so what you do make a table with html consisting of three columns okay you need to consist of three columns like that i have already mentioned in uh, my table three columns so in first uh, you need to add name it's, it's very simple it's very simple uh, okay quiz in second you need to put flag in third you need to put gdp that's it your table will be have three rows okay you need to add three tr this means you need to add three tr so use the information below to uh, attribute the cells correctly and now you you need to fill fill the value in what cells so first you need to add united states then you need to add us flags okay so in the second column you need to add the flag and how you can add the flag this is the uh, actually challenge for you this is challenge for you how you, how you add the flag in the cell value so this you can do by adding the image tag okay but how you can image tag you need to go to the google then you can get the idea in gdp you can put the directly values it's simple so in this uh, challenge in this quiz the very uh, very interesting point is this only adding the image tag in column so in every uh, row you need to do this in every row and, and you also have all the information available in this text file i will send you this text file in uh, whatsapp group 
so you all can get this axis okay so this is the thing uh, you need to do and uh, for your hint i will show you the code also how you add uh, the uh, this image in uh, this image in what in column so let me show you okay for uh, small time for only small time i will show you uh, html2 html2 is here html2 and this part to quiz solution okay so the uh, you can see here inside td we have one image tag okay that is self closing tag so with the help of that you can add the image in column okay now everyone will understand uh, this and you can uh, make the assignment okay you can uh, do the assignment properly so that's it okay <laughs> So let me 